I'm Elizabeth Swift, and this is the Quincy Arts Center. So the Quincy Arts Center is actually a carriage house barn. It started out as just the barn, and it is the carriage house to the Lorenzo Bull House, um, also known as the Women's City Club. So this is, oh goodness. We'll pan over Here's to the, the City Club here. 1887 is when uh, the carriage house was, was made. So the, the gorgeous Lorenzo Bull House, and then we have this gorgeous park. So we are actually part of the park district, um, and we rent our building from them. So we take care of the building, and then they mow our lawns, which they are doing currently right now. So um, we have this beautiful park space. People are welcome to come out here and, and take a picnic. It's a gorgeous part of Quincy, in the, right in the historical district. So. Uh, we love being here, we love being close to all of the history of Quincy, so, yeah, we can take a look at the windmill, oh, that was a perfect little squeak yeah. of that windmill, or <laughs> weather vane. And a lot of you will know it used to be called the Art Barn before yes. the extension was on, so when so, I was a kid that was the Art Barn. And it was the Quincy Art Club, the Art Club before, and then in 1923 it became the Art Center. Yeah, we love being here. It's really fun. So all of this part is new. This was all done in the 90s. So our large gallery was all done, and our studios downstairs were all done in the 90s. It is a gorgeous day. So if you're on a walk, come by, check out the art center. And the new branding just happened last year. Might shoot this logo yeah, here. So did our logo. They also did our beautiful website. So if you want to find out more information about the Art Center, go check out our website, QuincyArtCenter.org. Get all of our sanitizer. I'd have to be extra loud. Okay. We love our beautiful entryway. We just switched to electric candles <laughs> instead of real candles. So. Hi, Amanda. Hey. <laughs> or Bella. <laughs> so we'll go take a look inside the, the carriage house part, because it's no longer a carriage house. So we usually have artwork hanging up in here, but you guys get a little exclusive look at our wide open gallery space. So this is the Elizabeth and Sinop Gallery. Um, it's the smaller of our two galleries. Um, but we still have access to the barn doors on nice days like today. Um, those can get opened up. Um, if, you, if you've been here at Art Fest that we do in September, we usually have those open and let it rain. Um, and then people can come in and out uh, and enjoy the, the whole space of the beautiful park and our beautiful galleries. Um, we usually have a piano player playing. Uh, during our openings, and this just makes a really nice space. It's nice to just come in here, listen to the music, and look at the art. Uh, yeah, it's hard to believe that there used to be horses in here. <laughs> I think that's one of the uh, favorite parts of when we, whenever we do kids' tours. That once they find out that this used to hold horses, they just kind of go crazy. <laughs> We've got our intern here. We got you on camera, so you have to say hi now. <laughs> say Aaron. <laughs> Every year we get, um, uh, for the past couple of years, we've been getting grants from the Illinois Arts Council to take on high school workers. Uh, they usually come and we get two of them that help out with education, and this year we got a third one to help out with marketing. So that's been pretty fun. So this is our Jeff Bogue. Uh, uh, conference room and library, so we've got a bunch of art books. You currently can't check them out, um, but once we get open to the public again, people are welcome to come here and take a look at our art books and learn some art history. I know we've had a couple of Boy Scout groups that have come here to just kind of look through our books and get like uh, art history lessons going on. And then we have our Mark Chatterley thesis. It's a little out of sorts because we've been doing our online classes. Oh, right Chatterley pieces. What's that called? Yeah. I remember, I remember these. Chatterley pieces. This was an artist that we had uh, two years ago in September, and he made these sculptures at Art Fest. And then he left them to us, and we had the community 
come and just paint on them. So this is kind of a community collaborative piece that is exclusively here at the Art Center. I believe my two-year-old made some orange up on the oh, ear. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we haven't been able to do online classes or uh, in-person classes, so we've switched to online classes. So what we do is we have a little Zoom meeting set up here. So uh, our instructors teach here, and we have our students pop up. And then we have it to where we can share our screen. And then the students get to view exactly our workspace. So they get more of like an in, like an exclusive look at how we make our projects. Uh, I was a little nervous about teaching the online classes. I thought the kids were going to be all over the place. But honestly, I think that since I'm now a moving image on a computer screen, they pay more attention to me than in real life. So. Um, it's been really great. I did a play class with K through eighth graders, and we did pinch pots. I had a student that had never worked with clay before, and he did amazing. Um, for online classes, I had the, the most wonderful students there. Um, but we create kits for them here at the Art Center. So their kits had balls of clay for each day. They had their tools, their mats, everything that they needed to create along with me. Um, we put those in those kits. We gave them thank you cards for thanking them for signing up for our classes and to remind them every day that one's for you guys. <laughs> um, so right now we've got a clay class or a chalk pastel class going on. Um, we've got a printmaking class going on. That was a print that they did last week. Very excited to see what they do this week because they've got their kits were. Oh, so much going on. I wanted to take that class with all the things that they were putting in those kits. You'll, you'll like, if you sign up for the class and you get these kits, you'll start seeing all these projects and you'll start thinking like, wow, they thought of everything. And they did. Like our teachers like really sat down and, and planned every lesson so that way we could make sure that everybody got the proper uh, tools and materials to, to make good art at home. So that's kind of our online classes. We've got new classes coming up for July. Those will be um, on our website later on this week. And then these are some of our 100 or 64 faces of students. So it was inspired by our Smithsonian exhibit that we had, 100 Faces of War. And these are done by our after school art kids. Um, so some of them are slowly starting to come down. Get in touch with those students so that way they can pick up their artwork. But they did a little portrait of themselves and then did a thank you note to our veterans, and it was very lovely. Okay. All right. So we're transitioning now from the barn part to the newer section. So whenever you come into the art center, uh, once we get open again, This is our largest fundraiser that the Art Center has, and these amazing young women go around town raising money for us so that way we continue our programs and services all around the community. Um, and they've been doing it for years and years, and we're happy that this Quincy tradition still carries on. And the current Bo Arts Queen is? Um, right here. Oh, it's up here. Abigail Oakley. Yeah, we oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Queen, uh, in the hallway for, for a year. So this is the Catherine Garner Stevenson Gallery. It is named after the first Beaux Arts Queen that we had. Um, and it is our largest of the two galleries. Um, these walls are movable, so we can move them around as, um, as needed whenever we have artwork here. It's very echoey in here. So whenever we do tours, we have to have the kids be really quiet because even the slightest whisper can carry all the way across the, the gallery. But, so we are going to 
going to be doing a our 11th annual members exhibit, um, and this one will actually be our first exclusively online exhibit. So we have artists coming in through this whole month, and they're coming in and working with their artwork and taking photos of it. So that way we can then put them online. They're filling out all their information. Um, we're even getting some artist statements and some videos of artists talking about their artwork that we'll be able to share with everybody too. So it'll be fun to, to still give that service to our members and then everybody can see our talented members and the artwork that they, uh, they, they make on their own. Any medium, any age, if, if you're a member of the Art Center, um, you can be in the show. So you can find out all the information for that exhibit on our website, quincyartcenter.org. You go under exhibits, it's under upcoming exhibits, and we have a full prospectus um, and an entry form on there. And if you're not a member of the Art Center, you can become a member and then sign up to be in the exhibit right away. So, yeah, it's open to anybody, really, as long as you're a member. So, great. Yeah. Any questions in the comments there? Anybody have a question for Elizabeth? I kind of rushed her out. I've been practicing my tours, so. <laughs> The welcome desk here is taking all of the precautions. And when, when we find out more information, maybe it's worth repeating that. When we find out more information about um, in-person in classes, um, we'll have all of that out on the website as well. Um, but right now, you can sign up for classes online with kits. So let's maybe do that one more time. Yeah, so we can just go downstairs and pop in and see. How oh yeah, the kits. It's a little messy down here right now, but you might see our high school, some more of our high school workers down here. Some of the recent Beaux-Arts screens. Oops. <laughs> this is for painter and pottery. Uh, family days are not going right now, but when they start back up, um, we'll have paint your own pottery again. <laughs> Studio this tour. Is our other high school workers, Bailey. She is an amazing artist in her own right. So we've been putting kits together down here. So we have containers for glues and paints. Uh, we've got scissors, sharpies, uh, markers, crayons, whatever the kit needs, brushes. We throw that in there. Um, we put it in a bag. And we leave them out for our students and our, their parents to, to come and pick those up. So we, we try to keep it sanitary. We wear our masks. Um, we wipe things down as we do it. And we just want to keep being safe in the community. So the safer we are, the sooner we, everything can get back to normal again. And we're very excited to have this room filled with students and noise and chaos. And, and mess events. We can't wait for that. Um, so currently, we're still going to be doing our online classes through July. Uh, we will reassess everything um, and see what office brings us. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. I think we'll probably leave it here. Remember to check uh, quincyartcenter.org. And of course, Arts Quincy will keep you up to date too. Right now, we are planning a new um, magazine for Arts Quincy in August. So we will hopefully have some updated information about Quincy Arts Center and all of your favorite 55 partner organizations at that time. Um, right now, if you want to get involved in some of these online classes with kit pickups, highly recommend it. Um, definitely check out Arts excuse me, quincyartcenter.org uh, for the class selection and timing. <music>